Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4, and we are at war, and we are having a hard time. Having a heck of a time over here. Um, luckily for- oh wow, Russia... Russia's in trouble. <gasps> Excuse me, whoa. Last episode was a long one, because I'm getting really, really fed up with this... this war here. I um, think I'm going to... Go ahead and just do one of those guys, and then buy a bunch more mercs. Half off discipline guy. I think I'd rather have the morale. I will take the mill points though. Speaking of that, yeah, he's level five already, so we're good. So this is not nearly enough. What's the combat width? 38. Let's get another... What? Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Clicked into on Zealand, so that's fine. As long as we fill the combat with, we should be okay. I just need to make my way down to Paris. Maybe I don't need to be fight picking so many fights, right? Can I kill the Poteman's tro troops? No, I cannot. So if I can get in there, I can stack up those short because they're gonna have to... Nope. But I think I still win anyways. Very good. I'd rather not lose legitimacy, but that's okay. So that was good. Needed that win, big time. Might even be able. To, let's. Uh, I actually am just gonna spend the points there. If we can win Roma. That would be. Okay, cool. Let's separate piece out, Pope Man. For like. I wonder if I could. These are all Mercs, so I really don't care what happens to these guys. Of course. Should be fine. So if we can do that, we might actually be able to full annex him. Though I don't know if he has any lands otherwise, like overseas. Nope, full annexation. This is good. He's got a lot of men over here as well, so. All right, Pope Man. Will you let me eat you? You will. It's a lot of Diplo I'm spending. Don't care a whole lot. Okay, very good. Now things are gonna start picking back up. They bogged down there for a couple of years. I need to get that get out of this war. But I'm gonna have these guys sit here on ROM, apparently. Oh, there's no rebels over there. So let's go ahead and siege back this province here. We won the siege of Paris, which is good. Go ahead and come up here to Valois. He's just gonna keep piling in like he does. Yep, I'm gonna lose. Okay. Frankfurt and Switzerland both kind of won out. Okay. This has been a really long war. Ah, it's only been three years. Feels like it's been a long time. He's gonna siege back Paris like instantly, yeah. Might as well kill a couple of these guys over here. Hello, goodbye. Okay. So we, uh, our king is dead. Jaren, long live Jaren Clampett, the one admin monarch. Should have looked at that when I focused mill. <laughs> but uh, Villem, our heir, is pretty good, so. This is both farmlands. Let's just come over here, siege this one. Oh yeah, he's got that 55 stack. All right, the conquest of Rome. Give me that positive stab. All 
All right. I think this is better. If he can take back Paris, I don't mind. I mean, this this war is all about the long term. Because like I said, I'm going to make a, a client state probably with Paris so I don't have to pay to core it. Okay, something like this. So he's not going to peace out right now. But if I... So if I split my guys, have like... Okay. If I stack wipe his army, we'd probably be good. Looks like, yep. Yeah. So his 55 stack is, is over there, so I think I might be able to get a good fight over here. If I can kill this, um, the Swiss, they'll probably peace out, so that'd be really good for me. Okay. If I can, yeah, if I can kill them, they'll, they'll peace out for sure. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and peace them out. They still don't want to because they're turds. Okay. Frankfurt wants out, so I'll let them out. Switzerland. Okay, somehow they're going up. But that's fine. Okay. I can't believe how many men have died in this war. Oh my goodness. At least we have more manpower still, because we're swapping all of our men out for, uh, <laughs> for mercs. Come on now. This is outrageous. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Uh, what's the combat width again? 38, so... Let's get rid of that. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with like... There you go, that sounds about right. And let's go with... 38. Let's go time, let's do it. Let's get them on Britain, that way none of them are getting killed when they're building. Get my uh, get my ships over here. Do I win this one v one? We don't fill out the back line. They don't either. We have more cannons than them. We lost the siege of Paris. Okay, so without them reinforcing, we win that pretty handedly. So that's good. Ottomans had court and country. I didn't even realize. Truce is up with them in O2. So, see if we can get a stack wipe. Eh, they're gonna get a reinforcement tick, but they still won't be 100%, so that's really good for me. Alright, now we just have to start stack, uh, sieging him down. Okay. Don't know where those rebels just popped. Very good. Thank God for good generals, man. All right, Switzerland wants out. Very good. Okay. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch, get you guys over here. There we go. Get a uh, movement dude on there, reinforce. All right, very good. So, in this war, I want to take as much as I can. I want to take as many forts as we can as well. Like this right here. Oh wow, we can like... Jeez, oh Pete. This would be good, because that would allow us to get down there. We're going to get hold for peace way before that happens, though. Does he have any re any uh, overseas stuff? Alsace and Provence are both going to want out.
Have you guys go over to Lorraine. Have these guys go over to Alsace. I forgot about Toyo. The Enlightenment is here. Done this siege over here. Let's just be careful so I'm not getting stack wiped. I did recruit these guys. I'll probably just full annex him. And I'll just give whatever I need to uh, to avoid any massive overextension. Did I misclick? Hello? So I'll sauce once out. So I'll let them out. This war has been so long. Five years in the endgame is an eternity. I'll take tech, I don't give a damn. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is hills. Unfortunately, we didn't win. Definitely gonna need to flee. But have you guys come up with these guys here? I don't know where those rebels just popped. Natives are sieging down Roma, unfortunately. It's gonna halt its uh, coring process, but that's fine. Okay, so these guys want a tango. So let's just have all of them join up up here. Uh, it's fine, I'm already at max prestige. So this is grasslands, we have superior uh, maneuver, so it's an even fight. They are reinforcing, but we still win, so GG. I think we can stack wipe his big stack over. He can go ahead and get his morale tick, it's fine. I'll have to fight him over here in the hills. Hopefully it's a stack wipe. Shouldn't, nope. He's gonna randomly just give me massive losses because he's the French and they're overpowered. All right, I just need to get Provence out of here. Let's just piece Toyo out. Have him give me what I will. I'll leave him as an OPM. There we go. This is all inland so so we'll just keep you guys here got a free fort out of it so that's nice okay no rebels over there complacency fa it's fine we just took tech so I don't care interest per annum don't think we're worried about any loans speaking of that let's go ahead and uh, make sure all of our Everything's looking good, yes. Do we have Miltech? So let's go ahead and build some forts, eh? Okay, it's gonna help with our... Um, this thing. We need more forts. Fine. You there. Is there any wasteland over here that I can use to my advantage? Nah. This is all colonizable. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't mind then. I mean, I will build one like right there. Just, you know, for good measure. Definitely gonna need India fortified. Building like up there as well. Definitely want China fortified. Build some like over here. Those will communicate eventually. Get these guys upgraded as well. Everything 
Everything's looking good over there. New world, maybe we should just at least the perimeters. And the capitals. These guys are tough to defend. Okay. Ah, uh, what the heck? Let's just do it. Don't really care about the forts over there, but I will get these ones over here. Okay. That should be good. Uh, we also got the counting house. Really good way to make more and more money. Super good money. Which all goes into trade as well, so... Some of the better buildings in the game, in my opinion. Help keep our uh, vassals nice and rich as well. Rich vassals means vassals that have lots of men in the field, so... Certainly, certainly good. Okay. So I think I'm about ready to peace out. It's apparent to me that I'm not going to be able to get a 100% peace deal from them, but I will take as much as they will allow me to. I would like to take the forts if I can down here. I think I can do this. We will be out of war. Let's see what our overextension looks like. So we need to get rid of 70%. So let's go ahead and make a, I guess Paris is a good name. Um, yep, it can be a monarchy and all that stuff. That's fine with me. All right. Um, emblem. Do I care a whole lot? Not really. It'd be cool if they had like uh We could just do like the Dutch flag, right? So let's go ahead and go no emblem. Or maybe we could do like the Dutch flag with like an eagle in the front or something like that. Kinda like that. Uh, let's go with flag color. So there you go. And then we just need to find our tricolor there. How about they flip it? I like that actually. So let's go red, white, and blue. Like since we are the house de orange, there you go. And then just give these all to him. At least all the expensive ones that I don't feel like coring. He'll make a good little vassal. Client states are very strong. Okay, so these forts, that'll be good for him. There we go. I just need more admin, of course. Well, that's fine. We'll be able to handle our overextension here. Very good. Cool. Well, there you go. That is uh, our little client state over here. We are definitely going to need to get my men reshuffled. I wonder if a client state could form France. Unlawful territory from Austria. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. That's, that's not how that's going to work. Alright, truce with the Ottomans is up July, so, so very soon. So let's go ahead and get started on integrating him. Nine years. But, we are going to do this, so it's actually going to be done in seven years, six years, six and a half, so it's pretty good. Um, let's go here. Otto Man will be my rival for a couple of months at least. Let's go ahead and switch over to stability. Monster joined the coalition, I don't care. Bunch of random people joining a coalition against me. It's not gonna fire. So let's have this half. Wow, we have like no mercs anymore. Let's have you guys do that. And then.
We can totally declare on them. Portugal would even join in. Um, we could finish full annexing him, but he's not co-belligerent, so it actually wouldn't work like that. Are they allied? They are allied. Well, I suppose it's probably best to just wait for that truce. 03. Hmm, it's cutting it a little close. Let's see here. Who do we want to go to war with? We could, like, start expanding this way. Sweden, truce is up, so let's do that. Prussia would make a really good vassal. I could vassalize Prussia if I wanted to. Make him a nice little space marine vassal. Oh, I could just declare right on him for... Bohemia would join. I just need to break this alliance. I'm gonna have to declare war on him pretty soon, so it's fine. Uh, let's just do this. So these guys are grouping up, so let's go ahead and get some more mercs over here. We're fine. All those people are now people that cannot join the coalition. Oh my goodness, that's a big coalition. Spain might actually join, which is kind of annoying. I just need to make sure that I'm ready to declare on the Ottomans as soon as, uh, you know, as soon as the time is appropriate. So I'm actually going to, I can afford it. So I'm going to, not enough monies? Really? Okay, well that's fine. Let's go ahead and make sure you guys match that template. Go ahead and get rid of that so we're not wasting a bunch of manpower. Okay. Yeah, everybody's joining the, this coalition. Look at that. Goodness gracious. So much for Europe as a... Annexing Europe, right? So who are we at war with? Munster? Bloodbound was such a good general emperor. Really took his stuff seriously. All right, I don't have any of my forts finished up yet, unfortunately. This annexation is going pretty quickly. I don't need that anymore. Um, admittedly, I should probably have like an army up here, but it's fine. We're gonna full annex them, and we're gonna full annex maybe Munster. Definitely gonna vassalize Prussia. I should have co-belligerented him. I meant to. Hmm. Might not be able to co-belligerent him, but I'll at least be able to, um... Ooh, jeez. It's a thick Milan. <laughs> yeah, coalition very well may fire. Let's see here. Yeah, we're in an offensive war as well. Let's see here. Can I make this? Next month I can. Let's minimize that. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Aggressive. Hello? Uh, attrition. Alright, so let's go ahead and get you guys down here. We have no manpower. Of course we don't. Goodness gracious. Well, we're just gonna rock without it, apparently. Balmanis has joined the coalition as well. Yeah, it's probably gonna fire. I'm gonna have to declare on war, war on the Ottomans literally as soon as it goes, or else, like, they're gonna join and Spain's gonna join. And then as soon as my truce of Portugal is up, I'm gonna declare on him to single out Spain. So, that will be good. That'll work just fine. Okay. Some reason I just cannot finish sieges. So dumb, dude. Let's go ahead and take half of you guys and have you go land in Prussian lands. You know, Jaren Clampett, you are a great man. I appreciate you. You make a better general. 
Because your air is a little bit better than you statistically, so. <laughs> Let's come over here and see if we can destroy his army. Let's actually boat bomb him here. He does have a good general, though. Oh my gosh, really? Bro, I just... <laughs> Karen Clamp, but I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. He died while the army was camped in southern Norwegian Sea. And our air is garbage. So people get so upset whenever I disinherit when I'm at war. But I'm gonna do it anyways, because screw you. <laughs> so let's go into Shaylin. Get a guy. And come and boat bomb these dudes over here. Looking uh, pretty good for them, honestly. Wow, yeah. It's a good fight for them. Jeez. Okay. Don't know where these rebels are popping up. So we're at war with you, so let's come on over here. Alright. Truce with them is up when? July. Need to be aware. Be aware, be aware. Let's come on over here to Lubeck. I think I will have him annul treaties with Bohemia. And then I will separate piece him and I'll just attack him in a later war. <laughs> Excuse me, a little hiccup there. Um... Jeez. Really? I mean, I certainly can't afford that much inflation. Alright, well, we're gonna have to cut some of these. Do we need this one? Nope. Do we need this one? Nope. Do we need this one? Yes. No. So that means we should still be losing corruption. Okay. That one's done there. Okay. And this is why I left an army behind. To handle his rebels for him. I just took his general, didn't I? Okay, hopefully we win that siege pretty quickly. Okay. I would like to full annex Munster. Be an extra tag off the off the map, which would be good for me. Alright, let's see here. Can I piece you out to have you annul your alliance? You don't have an alliance with him? Oh. I couldn't vassalize him in this war because he's not co-belligerent. So let's just white piece him. Shortest truce timer I can possibly get. Come and boat bomb these guys. Oh, let's actually get a general on you as well. The leaps. Maybe it's a stack wipe? Oh, certainly not. Somehow he has really good combat ability. Where's his capital up here? Let's get you guys down here, and have you guys come on up and join them. This war... Truce with them is up this month. Luba joins coalition. Have to be very quick to do this in the correct time. So we can do this, so I will. I'll take a general, it's fine. Gonna need them to be a little bit more influential if I can, so I'm gonna give them some random lands that I don't care about a whole lot. There you go. I will take that. Okay, so I can do this if the clergy was just influential enough, so I'll just give them a bunch of land that I don't care about. That will allow me to do a couple of these clicks here. And we need to give them 10% more. So just give them like some stuff up here. There we go. Need those admin points. OK. 
Okay. Looking good. Alright, very good. Let's uh get this war declared for the Auto Man. Truce should be up here any day now. Okay, truce with the Ottomans is over. We will immediately declare. Apparently we still have a truce with them, it says. If they can join this coalition, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay. Stuff is done. I will definitely take the prestige. I'm gonna need that. He has nobody that's gonna help him. Alright, cool. We're gonna fight this war in the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying, and if you are, don't forget to show your support and leave a like. Support the channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to check out the Discord, or if you'd like to support the channel on our Patreon, links are in the description down below. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon, Bloodbound92, as well as Udaldo, Jaron Clampett, Corbett Gaming, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal, Lambda Driver, Damian Hartvig, and others for your awesome support. I appreciate you very much. There's going to be a couple of series linked on the right over there, and I think you might appreciate them. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.